It's like a Has anybody done this yet? Oh no, God, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> here with another knife review. Tonight I have a guest, Ken Seth. Hello, hello. Happy to be here. A big fan. He's with us. <laughs> Am I in? You are in. What are we listening to? This is Brian Eno, basically with Cluster, which was 70s Krautrock group. And uh, this is with Eno, Mobius, and Rodelius from Cluster, and it's called After the Heat. Cool. You see a picture of them on the back? Yeah, that's killer. Brain, you know, he just had the coolest look, man. Yeah. Yeah, Is this yeah. on Sky Records? Yep. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, they put out a lot of uh, kind of the late 70s kraut rock stuff. And I just like uh, Cluster and Rodelius especially because it's a little bit more minimal that's also why i like the knives that we're going to talk about today too all right look at that so ken seth and i have been friends for a long time i've traveled together played music together all kinds of things so you brought a drink i thought that this could be appropriate for you know the artwork's kind of funky it's a hard kombucha tangerine turmeric cayenne pepper and ginger and they're a local company nova Chula Vista, California. No way, I grew up in Chula Vista. Yeah, well this is for you then. Nova, nice. Should I do the honors? Yeah, do it. All right. Ooh. This afternoon we're out back in my backyard and we kind of set up a little differently. So this is my first backyard episode. So thanks for being here, I appreciate it. It's awesome yeah. to get together with a friend and kind of do something. Well, thank you, it's an honor to be here and will probably be the last Damn Right I Got Knives of 2020. Of 2020 it will be. Here's the 2020. Yeah, Here's 2020, 2020, dude. <laughs> Happy New Year, my friend. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, wait, yeah, what's the, I taste. It's oh, I the taste cayenne. the cayenne. Yeah. We're on a cleanse right now. Mm. Yeah, I probably could use that. <laughs> That's good. Moving along, I recently introduced selling knives in my shop. And it's been a little over a month now, I think. It's been going great. I had a lot of fun, built a case for displaying knives. But my first customer ever was sitting across from me. Ken Seth bought a knife for me and I, when he bought it, I said, we gotta do an episode with you. Yeah. It's been super fun getting into knives and seeing which of my friends are interested in them and who it sparks an interest to because it's this little deep thing, I think, rooted in some people that when you see a knife, you're like, ooh, and some people have that interest and some people don't care at all. Well, it's intriguing. I think that's what got me into it was watching your videos. I've always liked knives. My wife mentioned that the other day. She's like, oh, this makes sense because you've always had a knife and I've always wondered why you, you know, wanted to buy another knife when you got it. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's right. I've always been interested in knives and I've always bought more than I probably need. Yeah. I went to go visit your uh, your shop and your case uh, there. That was beautiful, by the way. And I was asking you what would be good for a beginner as far as I don't want to dive straight into the $400 Benchmade or something. And I was intrigued by what you were showing. 
but I wanted something that I could use that I wouldn't be afraid to use. All right, you guided me to this one, the Civivi, which I'm really happy with, and it's not a break the bank type of situation. Beautiful knife. Yeah, it is. I like how it has a little bit of the elegance, yet yeah, it's still pretty minimal. It's all one color and it's not too heavy. Not and this has the dragon scale handle look. You might see some wear on it because I have been using it. I was just uh, putting together a screen door and I used it to cut the excess screen. Try not to use this one too much because it is too pretty to muck up. So this has D2 steel type. It's good. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, it's resistant to corrosion. Yeah, it's a good steel. I like the clips that the Civivi has. It's minimal, but it's really strong. Pen clips. Because oh. they look more like a pen. They do. So something this reminds me of that I have is a Wii Dracon. And if you notice, they're very similar. Scaling on them. This one's made of titanium and M390. It's by is Wii. That, is that how you recommended this one? Yeah, because of that it one? is. Okay. You wanted something a little less expensive. Yeah. This, I can't remember the price on, but, and this is the more expensive version by We Knives, which is the parent company and to Civivi. Civivi is kind of the more budget-minded brand, both made in China. Just a different attention to materials and different specs of the knives. This is killer. Yeah. I've seen people buy the lighter handles too, and then they dye them. Mm. So then they'll do that, which is cool G10, and you can't do with titanium unless you're gonna like anodize it again. Between those two, you can definitely feel a difference. And like you said, it's all one piece of titanium. Mm -hmm. And whereas this one has the- Sandwich construction. Yeah, construction. Uh, but this is heavier. It, the the hardware and everything just feels tighter. You can tell that, you know, there basically there's a price difference that that represents. <laughs> Integral with the frame lock. And then this one here is a liner lock. And this one has it built into the handle. Mine does have a pen clip style as well. So that's cool, you've been liking it. I don't get into the fantasy thing a lot with the knives, you know, or like very sci-fi or whatever. I kind of keep it more. The dragon scales you're referring to? Yeah, this is the <laughs> most like fantasy knife I have right here. I don't do hard work with this knife. No way. Yeah. No, I, I don't I don't want to do hard work with it. I just wanted to use it. More than fantasy, I was thinking the design of this, it kind of reminded me of like a bird or something. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, It has yeah. the eye. It has the, the beak feathers. Yeah. I see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Kershaw, just because it's an even more minimal knife, their price point is even less. They're workhorses as well, so you can use them freely. The packaging that these come in is a little bit more ornate. For the Kershaw, the packaging is very straightforward and you get what you get. It just has the little plastic that comes in and then the instructions. So the Kershaw comes with a, a lifetime warranty that was on a ladder and then dropped it so you can see that there's some dents there. Oh, so yeah. rather than try to try to sharpen that out, I'm just gonna send it back to them and they can sharpen it or they can replace it if it's beyond sharpening. So I'm just gonna wrap it up, just gonna put it in the box and send it to them. You pay for the uh, postage and they'll send it back. So this one's brand new, I haven't used it yet. I love the Kershaws because they're so minimal, they're so simple, they're, they're heavy duty. The price is, uh, is really affordable and they're just awesome, beautiful knives. Yeah, I've held these a few times. This is the assisted opening version, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. Because you pull down on it, there's a bit of a spring there to it. These are awesome little fast knives. Yeah, that one's called the Kershaw Leak, and I highly recommend it. it talks about the butt end and the thumb stud. Seven inches overall, four inches closed. It's not about the size though three ounces made in the USA. And it has a frame lock on this one. It also has a safety lock on it. Oh, it does? Yeah, so when it's in your pocket, you can be sure that it won't open. Oh, no way, okay. Yeah. Oops, <laughs> let's try this again. There we go. That's the way. <laughs> Here's my Kershaw, the Launch 4. Ooh. Snappy little guy. 
take a look at those for a second. I like that one a lot. I like this my, little guy. That's gonna be my next. Looking nice there. Nice little lineup. Oh yeah. I like it. Looking good. Kershaw sandwich. Where is Civivi's made? Civivi is made in China. Kershaw's USA, right? This one's China. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Kershaw, you, you send it to Oregon. My Wii is made in China. I'm pretty sure this guy's US right here. All right, let's cut some paper. Okay. interesting so we'll go sharpest like that sharper than that than that but you know if any of them were sharpened they'd be sharper than the yeah. other it's not like fair this one it is definitely sharpest this is you can tell again that this steel is the most you know highest quality yeah m390 yeah, yeah doesn't get better premium super steel some good looking knives. Yeah, that's right. This one is significantly heavier here. Yes. Yeah, you know, these are the lighter handles, heavier. You can definitely feel the difference. I don't know, I guess it just feels like it's better quality. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Check this. The centering is really good. Yeah. I noticed earlier on this, totally. No blade play up and down all around. So it's this thing is built, that's one thing about Civivi. And we, they're built really, really well. They're from China, but they're built really well. And that's the same kind of standard. How much is that one on average, you think? On co the cost of yeah. this? It's like 300 and something dollars. Yeah, see, and this is $60. Yeah. So, I mean, it's good to talk about because, uh, you know, there's people that are just trying to find a good knife that don't want to spend $300 yet. Exactly. Like me. Exactly. That's what I like about Kershaw is their stuff is always good. If you're gonna have a beater knife that you wanna use all the time, going with a Kershaw, mm -hmm. that's what you always see them in fishing stores and places. Yep. You know? And they're usually like around, they're usually under $50 for, for these ones, you know, around that. Yeah, if you lose it, you don't feel like it's the end of the world. Exactly. I'm, I think I'm mixing these beer. I don't uh, know what the hell right. is going on. You drink. Oh. I drink. Ah, your drink. Careful. Our drink. Our drink. <laughs> drink, damn it. It's great oh. to spend time. Yeah. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Ken Seth, for showing up tonight. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll catch you soon. Adios, amigos. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,